a budding entrepreneur. You do own a lot of art, of course, your family. What, according to you, uh, Sanat, is the importance of each art piece? Abstract has given artists a liberty mm -hmm. to express what they want to say. An art lover. As an entrepreneur, as a young entrepreneur, what are you doing? Uh, for India's youth, because we, we say that, you know, India is a country predominantly made up of young people. If youth is guided and motivated, educated, mm -hmm. given great jobs, I see that the youth of this country can take the economy of the country to 5 trillion as our Honorable Prime Minister's vision is. NewsX India A-List proudly recognizes Sanat Kullar for excellence in entrepreneurship. Hello and welcome, I'm Udhar Pratap Singh. You're joining us on this special interview on NewsX as part of our NewsX A-List series. We have with us today a very special guest. Sanat Kullar is live with us today, Director Vishesh Promoters Private Limited. Welcome, Sanat. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, Sanat, uh, let me start out by asking you about how does art and business interest a young man like you? So art has been more than a more, more of a passion for us than a business. Mm -hmm. Actually, this history was started by, by my late grandfather, mm -hmm. who started this process of collecting art. And uh, it was more of a passion for him. He never saw it as a business. You know, when he started collecting art in the early 60s or the, or the early 70s, then uh, nobody saw this as in business. There were only handful of people, perhaps you could have counted on number, on fingers, uh, the number of people who used to buy art. And the value was also uh, much less than today what it is. Today it is seen as a business. It was more of a passion. Uh, it was uh, this legacy which was carried forward by my father. Mm -hmm. And now it has come in my blood and I'm also trying to do as much as I can for this. Right. Uh, for you personally, is art a business or is it a hobby? Absolutely. Business for me, uh, art for, for me is absolute hobby and passion. We have never seen it as a business. Today, people see it as business. Uh, perhaps you, if you see the auction in auctions, paintings are selling for a lot of prices. Mm -hmm. uh, the world, the, uh, in the world, uh, the art market is worth $67 billion. Whereas the Indian art market is worth 144 million. Uh, if we see this uh, share of Indian market, Indian art uh, with value is much less uh, than what it should be. I believe that Indian artists are better than anyone else, than, uh, perhaps than the European artist or anyone else. They deserve much more than they're already getting. And uh, with the current trend showing and with the Honorable Prime Minister's vision, I believe that uh, we will be able to achieve great heights in no time. Yes. Uh, you know, you do own a lot of art, of course, your family. What, according to you, uh, Sanat, is the importance of each art piece that is there on your wall that your family possesses? Each artwork for me is very special. Uh, I'm very small, I'm very young in age as well, and I cannot say that one artwork is better than another because these have been created by master artists who are master of their trade. Uh, perhaps were master of, unfortunately, more, uh, we have lost a lot of artists uh, because of the age and all. Uh, but if we see that uh, one work in my house of, of Manjit Bawa, Wai Guruji, it's tremendous, beautiful work. A painting of M.F. Hussain, of Lord Shiva, Lord Parvati and Lord Ganesha. Amazing, wonderful. What paintings? A landscape on, of Susa. A spe, uh, my gr late grandfather, as remember, had commissioned a Ram Kumar, a Banaras series of uh, late Ram Kumar Ji's uh, work. And uh, it is uh, of orange color and it is in our drawing room. What a work, what a magnificent work. It lights up the entire room. Amazing it is. Yes. Uh, for you personally, what's your favorite genre of art? Uh, for me, uh, favorite genre, you see, I like all genres. I like the figurative works. I like the abstracts. I like the landscape. Personally, landscapes and abstracts are my favorite. I believe that this gives an art, abstracts give an artist a liberty mm -hmm. to express what they want to say. You see, paintings express more than human beings. Art is something which shows the imagination of the artist the mental state the artist was uh, while making that work and now and if we do if the artist is not in this world but that painting is that painting speaks for uh, for its artist and its state what the artist was thinking when this work was made mm -hmm. now i want to also tell our viewers that gems of india art is certainly gathering a lot of attention these days can you tell us a bit more about uh, the book uh, and thank, the history. Thank you so much about that. So this book, Gems on Indian Art, the history started, uh, as I said, of collecting art 100 years, around mm -hmm. uh, 70 to 100 years ago. Uh, it was initially started by my great-grandfather, but my gr grandfather did the major job of it, mm -hmm. and my father. Uh, 
This book specially, the mm -hmm. Gems of Indian Art book. Yeah, we'd like you to show it as well. Sure, I will. Viewers. This book. Uh -huh. Wow, quite, and this a, was quite, the, quite a mammoth book. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. So, um, this his, uh, the, the book, star, we started uh, about this book around three years ago when mm -hmm. my grandfather was um, in this world. Unfortunately, we lost him, uh, we, we lost him last year. Uh, due to an unfortunate uh, cardiac arrest which uh, mm -hmm. my gra late grandfather had. Uh, this book has been edited by a renowned art critic Mr. Vinod Bhardwaj and, mm -hmm. and associate editor Bishwaji Chaudhary. Mm -hmm. This has been forwarded by renowned art critic Uma Nair. Uh, also, three documentaries are available on YouTube and with the name of Gems of Indian Art. I believe that such a book does not even does not exist in the world. Such comprehensive book it covers around 50, more than 50 artists and all the masters perhaps of the of the country, the the artists of the Baroda Art Group, the artists of the Progressive Art Group, and other artists, other mm -hmm. Indian artists. It has modern and contemporary Indian art. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I would uh, also this book had been inaugurated by Honorable Road and Transport Minister Sri Nitin Gadkari ji, uh, Sri uh, Honorable. Uh, Law Minister, Culture Minister and Parliamentary Affairs Minister Shri Arjun Ram Meghwal ji mm -hmm. and, sh and uh, MOS Health Shri S.P. Singh Bhagel ji mm -hmm. and just day before yesterday it was inaugurated by Honorable Chief Minister of Gujarat Shri Bhupendar Bhai Patel ji. Also mm -hmm. this book was seen, appreciated and signed by the Honorable, uh, DG, uh, uh, Honorable DG of the NGMA Dr. Sanjeev Kishore Gautam ji. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Uh, that those are some very uh, important dignitaries, of course, who lend their credence to the book. But uh, what has been the response in the market in, in you know, acro across India to the book once it's been released? So the response is very good and uh, people are really appreciating this book as I've heard. Uh, newspapers have also covered this and uh, I've heard that this book is good. I think... Uh, when this book uh, comes out uh, in the market, then uh, mm -hmm. we would wait, uh, we would eagerly wait to see the, uh, we would eagerly wait to see the response of the public as well. Yes. What, what, what according to you was, you know, the inspiration behind uh, this book in the first place? And I can see that it's written volume one. Uh, do you hope it, if it's a success that there will be volume two as well? Definitely. So talking about volumes, definitely we are planning and perhaps I would like to tell you that we have already started the work on volume mm -hmm. two. Uh, okay. Volume two. We are. Uh, we think that uh, we should make around five volumes as of now. The number can may also go up of uh, number of volumes we will create. Uh, the response has been very good also, and uh, the book Gems of Indian Art. Uh, I think uh, should be a game changer for the for the future artist mm -hmm. because I believe that these artists have already become masters. It is very important for new upcoming artists mm -hmm. to come up and become masters and to get the due what they deserve. In, Bom in Maharashtra itself, last, uh, in some, uh, last year I saw that more than 2,500 students took admission in art schools. Mm -hmm. uh, that's amazing. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, it certainly shows the, you know, the growth of art in the country. But also now uh, uh, Gems of India Art, uh, it's not restricted to just a book but reportedly documentaries as well, Sanat. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, so three documentaries are on YouTube uh, okay. under the name of Gems of Indian Art. Mm -hmm. It has again been directed by renowned uh, art critic, uh, writer and filmmaker, Mr. Vinod Bhardavaj. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Ms. Uma Nair has guided us in this uh, journey of the documentaries. There are th the three documentaries talk about each work the history of the artist and basically for the future upcoming artist uh, it will be an inspiration and they can gain knowledge from these masters themselves to become uh, new masters yes uh, and 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 these documentaries are what has been the response online uh, amazing the response has been very good very positive many people has have, have told me many new artists have told me that this has worked very well for them uh, okay. if the technique was not tried or something they could have they saw they got some inspiration from the masters uh, because if you if you see these masters also had a guru mm -hmm. uh, Souza is a master mm -hmm. it's his 100th anniversary uh, this year uh, he gained uh, inspiration from uh, the legendary Picasso. Mm -hmm. Now, for the new artist, Souza can be an inspiration for the new artist. Yes. True, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, that's great. And, uh, you know, clearly, of course, you've spoken a lot about the youth, you know, uh, of, of India and their, you know, approach towards art, etc. What about you, Sanat, as an entrepreneur, as a young entrepreneur, what are you doing 
uh, for India's youth? Because we, we say that, you know, India is a country predominantly made up of young people. Of course, India as a country is of young people. Uh, perhaps I believe the, the youth generation, uh, we are the most populated youth generation mm -hmm. of, uh, of the, uh, in the world. Uh, some see it as a liability, I see it as a great asset. Mm -hmm. The youth is a, is a great asset. As our Honorable Prime Minister also, also mm -hmm. uh, says that youth is an asset. If youth is guided and motivated, educated, mm -hmm. given great jobs, I see that the youth of this country can take the economy of the country to 5 trillion as our Honorable Prime Minister's vision is. It can even yeah. go further. I mean, the, you, what can the youth not do today? Mm -hmm. Youth is everywhere. And in my company, what we see, art is not our business. Art mm -hmm. is a passion. Art is a hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, as a business, for our business, what we do is we try to hire new, uh, the new hiring we do, we try to keep uh, the average age of a staff at around 30 years okay. or below. Experience is a bit less, uh -huh. but uh, I believe that with proper guidance and about uh, one or two senior members of uh, senior members can guide these mm -hmm. uh, teams uh, of made up of 10 to 15 youth people, young people, and when they guide them, they can become leaders in themselves and they can change the shape of not only our company but the country. No doubt, that's a great uh, thought, uh, uh, you know, to end on. But my last question to you, Sanat: What is the future of the Indian art? What is the way forward? The future of the Indian art is very bright. If anybody is seeing it as a business point of view as well, it is bright. Uh, I would say personally, just go and just buy. Because if we see, to, uh, Indian art is seeing a constant growth in its uh, uh, in the value. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just two months ago, uh, Amrita Shergilji's one of work one work sold for around 60 crores, mm -hmm. setting a new world record. Before this, there was a, another world record. I believe that the I, I believe that a new world record will be set, and this 60 crore record would be breaking in no time. Mm -hmm. 2008, during the world recession, Indian art saw a decline, but after that, there has been a steady growth. Mm -hmm. Especially after 2018, there is a there the growth has increased by double. Uh, during COVID, the prices of many things went up and mm -hmm. went down. But um, the on but if we see the online art sold in 2022 was around 62, 60, 62 to 67 billion dollars. That's amazing. And this is only the figures of the primary market, which is the online auctions. The secondary market of the private sales done by galleries and private collectors is not the data is not even mm -hmm. available with us. So the future is very bright. I believe in the next coming 10 to 10 to 15 years, the prices of each artwork will go 10x to 100x. Wow. And uh, so if anybody seeing for investments mm -hmm. as well, that's a great point. point. One if price, if something is for X today, it will be 100X in less yeah. than 10 years because the people are understanding today yeah. to the foreign universities. I, uh, I know that uh, are teaching art investment as in subject, mm -hmm. motivating. So if they are teaching today to the, to the young people who are students, after 10 years, when they become entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and they would want to invest their money, they would invest in art yeah. because of the education. And this would uh, really uh, be a game changer okay. for the so, country. So the future is clearly bright uh, for art and for Indian art in particular as well in this space. Uh, we certainly hope that it's bright for you as well. Thank you so much uh, for the time being, uh, Sanat Kular, for being with us today and wishing you and your company all the very best. Thank you so much for having me. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.